In the heart of the city of London, at a factory which would be a seventh heaven to schoolboys and forgers alike, an engraver puts the finishing touches to one of the world's latest postage stamps, the new one-cent stamp of the United Nations. For this is one of the largest stamp printing factories in the world, where since 1855, the postage stamps of 150 different countries have been engraved and printed. For a hundred years, the factory has produced some of the world's most valuable stamps. Valuable not only to an individual country's postage revenue, but to philatelists all over the world. Hand engraving is aided by a machine called a pentagraph. Using it, the engraver can follow the outlines on a large zinc copy of the original design, while a needle automatically makes the same outlines on a stamp-sized steel die. This steel die is later hardened so that its engraving can be transferred onto a softened steel cylinder. But first, a proof of the stamp is taken so that the details can be checked. Security arrangements in the factory are very strict and every single scrap of paper has to be accounted for, particularly in the transfer department where the hardened engraving is duplicated many times onto large copper sheets. One freak issue here or at the proofing stage could be kept secret and later be worth a great deal of money. These machines can print many thousands of stamps an hour, keeping up the firm's yearly output of thousands of millions of foreign postage stamps. They're printed straight onto gum paper, usually watermarked, and then perforated by machine. Even the girls employed here are skilled operatives, and many of the men are real craftsmen. But one rule they all obey. No stamp collecting during working hours. <laughs>